Hello friends and family and welcome to my channel. It's uh, 1st of January and let's start the uh, Koi and Pond update uh, January 2022 then. The last days uh, we have had another period of uh, very mild weather and uh, the ice on the pond started to uh, melt again. So uh, second time this year I have uh, removed all the ice and uh, now it's really need to uh, fill up uh, the pond so that's what i'm doing now i'm gonna show you a pile of ice and uh, after that i'm on my way to a holiday at lanzarote uh, by the time uh, this video is uh, released uh, there will be a video some videos from lanzarote as well so please check that out as well so this is the second uh, pile of ice for this year, uh, as usual. I hope uh, that the weather either stay above zero or below zero. Because uh, I don't want ice melting in the pond and I don't want to carry the, uh, all the ice into the forest. So I reckon I'm gonna fill up the pond uh, a little bit more and uh, I'm on my way for vacation. So I will get back to you in 14 days. So I'm back from a holiday now. Uh, while I was away there was a lot of uh, wind and storms and uh, the pond is uh, full with uh, yeah, debris. And uh, also uh, the uh, level is very, very low at the moment. And uh, yeah, the knife valves uh, for the bottom drain seems to be leaking a little bit. But uh, let's uh, clean up the pond. So uh, most of the debris on the shallow end and uh, on the walls has been taken care of. What I'm doing now is I'm just filling up the pond so I get enough pressure on my uh, knife valve so I can flush the bottom. Because I really don't want to bring down my uh, net amongst the fish at the bottom. It's better just uh, flush the bottom drain. So. So it's a week later, I have been trying to fill the pond up, uh, but really it leaks faster than I can uh, fill it up, so I really need to take, take care of the situation. This afternoon we are getting uh, rain and uh, storm coming in, and the day after uh, the deep frost is coming back, so I really need to take care of this, even though the weather situation is uh, quite bad. So I'm gonna take the valves off, uh, bring them inside and uh, show you how to repack uh, Valterra knife valves. So uh, the leaking valve is uh, disassembled from the pond and I'm inside. Uh, outside it's uh, really bad weather so nice to come indoors. Anyway, this uh, Valve is a uh, Valterra 110 mm uh, knife valve. It's basically uh, one knife valve unit uh, uh, stuck in between of two uh, flanges for the pipes. So this is how the flange look like and uh, this is the knife valve unit. You can uh, pull or push down to open and close. This side the water comes from the bottom drain, uh, gravity fed and in normal operation it goes here into my zip filter. Uh, this one is the one that's leaking and it uh, goes to waste, so basically if it's uh, leaking all the time I uh, lose water in my pond and that's not good. So I'm going to disassemble this one and uh, show you how to change the rubber seals inside. So what you need is uh, a key 11 millimeters. You also need uh, 8 millimeters uh, key 
it's good to have a screwdriver. So, uh, let's do this! So that's the last uh, bolt out or screw. So now when all the nuts and bolts is off, it's just a question about wriggling it out like this. And in here is the seal. So I'm gonna take the old seal out, clean it up and put a new seal on. The second rubber seal, is on the other side here. So these two are to be replaced. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up and get back to you. So the new rubber sealing is coming on the flange. It's actually part of the flange and not part of the knife valve. And it's quite a tricky thing to get it right. We have to force a little bit over. So uh, first one on, uh, gonna assemble this one and get uh, onto the other one and uh, yeah, mount it all back and fill up the pond. So uh, the repaired uh, knife bolts is uh, mounted and uh, the pond is filling up and meanwhile I thought I should uh, do an unboxing. I have never done an unboxing before. So let's see what's in this package. Inside the box is two other boxes. So let's see what's inside them. Look at this uh, new flow meters. Uh, I did uh, damage one in the big freeze in December, and I ordered new one, but uh, the price has in increased a bit, and uh, it's the same price to ship uh, two. Uh, the same as shipping one, so I thought that, that uh, why don't I get two of them, so I have a one for spare. Really wonderful uh, unit, it's graded from zero cubic meters an hour and up to 16 cubic meters an hour. A really, really nice uh, piece of equipment and uh, not that uh, expensive really. Uh, if you are in the mainland uh, Europe and you're curious about uh, flow meters like this, uh, just give me a message uh, down below and uh, I can look it up for you. There are se several uh, different sizes for different size of pipe and different flows. So uh, yeah, really fun one. Uh, happy to. Uh, be prepared for the for the spring. So the storm is uh, coming in now outside and really miserable weather. Uh, I will fill up the pond outside and come back to you tomorrow with a general Korean pond update. So uh, the big storm is uh, coming to an end. <laughs> So during the, the night there's been a lot of debris blowing into the pond and uh, I'm gonna clean it out and uh, flush the bottom drain now when the knife valve is uh, working. 
So uh, no more leaks. I have checked uh, both of them and uh, it's not one drop coming out of it. So open first one, open second one. And this way I get uh, all the debris out that has uh, been collected on the bottom. Yeah, it's still coming quite a lot of uh, debris out of the bottom. And that's about it. A minute or so with the flashing and the pond is cleaned. Gonna let the last little water out. Like so. So pond is cleaned, uh, I'm filling up uh, with water now and I am really happy that I have solved the situation. So I'm going to do my water test for this month and uh, get back to you in the afternoon once the water have uh, cleared out a little bit. Alright guys, uh, back in the afternoon uh, the water is starting to uh, clear up and uh, yeah, the fish is much more uh, active than they would usually be this time of the year. But it's an uh, unusually warm winter, so... The bog filter looks like a mess, as usual. However, the small uh, creeping plant hasn't died off for the season, so I guess uh, it will uh, be green all the way until spring and some shoots are coming on the iris. Uh, on the walls uh, there's already algae starting to uh, grow, also unusually early. So that was a quick look at the pond in the end of uh, January. Uh, let's look at the water parameters as well. So uh, this is the water parameters, uh, the last day in January. Uh, obviously since I lost a lot of uh, water, the key KH has uh, dropped slightly. Uh, the pond seems to be starting up uh, the biological processes and I have a slightly elevated uh, nitrate NO. Uh, yeah, th this definitely suggests that I need to start up my uh, bog filter for the season, so that's coming up for February. So that's it for a Koyan Pond update uh, January. It's uh, really no winter here and uh, I don't know if it's good or bad, but uh, it makes life easier for a koi pond keeper. In February I will try to uh, clean up the bog filter and uh, start up for uh, another season of uh, koi pond keeping. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, take care, stay safe, bye!